What's up guys, Casper here, and I'm going to be doing a walkthrough on Cinema 4D for all the uh, new people out there who just got the product. Yes, I really did just say product. Um, okay, first of all, you'll pop up with this screen right here. It'll say whatever, yours will probably say something different at the top. I actually bought this, I bought the student version. Yes, I know, I did buy it. Um, first off, sometimes it'll open up differently, what you need to do, it actually changes the layout for me sometimes. Um, this button right here changes the layout, you can go to animation, body paint, other body paint, modeling, um, or visualize. And visualize, if you get stuck in it, don't worry about it, to get out of this, you'll notice that first of all there's no button anymore and you can't find it. So you just go to window, layout, standard and there's also the body paint 3d menu which pretty much changes all the uh, top items here um go back to cinema 40 alright so first off what you got this is your area of work so you're in perspective view right now that means this button right here moves you around this button zooms out and in this button also moves around you can use it by pressing one which, if you press 1 and click, move you around like that. 2, zooms in and out. And 3, kind of like orbits. Okay. And for editing time, if you're lost, if you zoom out too much, can't get back in, you just go to Edit, Frame Default. But, okay. You also have your choice of four different views. If I say, make a little text object here, you'll see the text object in all the different views. Um, front, side, and top. If you want to click on one, then you can make it like edit, really go close and like line things up right there. But I'm just going to go back to uh, perspective for now because that's what we're going to be using today, just to explain. Okay, so on the top here, you got your basic stuff file, uh, the edit, which is like undo, all that um, objects, null, prim polygon, primitive. Um, tools I wouldn't worry about that in the basic thing um, most of these I wouldn't um, but one thing you will see on tutorials if they have cinema 4d 11.5 they'll always be like right clicking if we so we get a cube they'll right click go to MoGraph tags and they'll have um, dynamic body uh, or rigid body um, this is not the same thing well it actually is you gotta edit it though but in order to get to rigid body, you go to simulation, dynamics, create rigid body. But, yeah. Okay, so anyway, here's your primitive object uh, thing. There's anything that's not edited yet. So, yeah. Um, your splines, anything there. Um, your nerves, extrude, hyper, whatever. Um, this thing, array, corner, bool, metaball. Spline mask, your bends, your special um, effect type things, those are pretty good. Um, your lighting, light, sky, background, foreground, environment, whatever, and your emitters. These are all different types of emitters. But anyway, your plugins will appear under here. I right now have Throsi, and also sometimes if you take a plugin and put it in, it won't appear in the plugins category, it'll appear in the Python category. Um, go to plugins, and I have any MIDI and Magic Cubes, and also I don't know where the other script is. I had I had X Breaker, but it was kind of garbage. Um, anyway, let's add some. First off, you can make text two different ways. One way being going to the splines. Don't know why I accidentally right click that splines text. Make a text. This is your attributes window, by the way. Um, you can edit your object in here, basic things, if it's visible, coordinates, and object. Change it, so I'll change it to hello. Okay. I was push enter, but you gotta click away. Now you'll see if you render. The, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention these. Um, this button here is the render feature, as in, like, you can just quick render, like, just view your thing as it is. It'll only render one frame. This is all the things, your render settings right here. Um, then that button right there is the complete render, so it'll actually render out 
and bring you up to this box right here. But I'm not going to worry about that. Anyway, um, to make this extruded, go to the little box thing here. Go to extrude nerves. And another thing I'm going to tell you guys, when you're dragging your boxes and items and such, um, if it has a side arrow like that, it means it won't affect the other thing. But say you want to extrude the text, um, you just grab the text and put it so it's face the arrows down on extrude nerves. Bam, there's your text. Then to edit the size, extrude nerves, go to. Uh, I'll do it like this normally. Oh, yeah. Just move the uh, z axis side of it. This is the x axis, y axis, and z axis, yeah. So, yeah, I'm just going to get rid of that. Quick way to do 3D text go to MoGraph and mo text bam so there's that um tad your text all that you know that um for MoGraph text all you need to do is just change the depth and it'll go bigger change your font obviously click font find out what you want say I'll use Optimus you X out of the text box there you go um to resize your shape um, you just mess around with it, you can click it in here, and you either go to coordinates and do it like this with a size, I don't really like to do it like that, I go into object, mess around with the height, the spacing, you know, stuff like that, and vertical spacing, there is none here, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, also, if you click this tab right there, it'll let you make it bigger like that mess around with your axes and yeah so this is pretty much the basic stuff right here and um, my next tutorial I will be going over um, this pretty much this was just basic as you know and I'm just gonna be going over more advanced stuff like what you actually get into as in like the effectors how you use them what they are and all that stuff so uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, yeah.